Today, let's talk about Bitcoin dilution using simple terms. So the dilution of any asset, including Bitcoin, just refers to the percentage of the shares or coins that have been released into circulation compared to the total amount available. So if you have 100 chocolate coins and you gave away 95 of them and there were only five left undistributed, then those chocolate coins would be 95% diluted or 95% distributed. So this is the case with Bitcoin as well. Bitcoin is 95% diluted, meaning 95% of the total maximum Bitcoin supply has already been released into the economy. And once it's released, it can be sold on the market, it can be traded, it can be sent or received anywhere in the world. And the remaining 5% has yet to be released. So no one actually owns or controls this unreleased 5%. It's basically like five locked up coins that no one can eat and no one can send or receive. So that's the basics of Bitcoin dilution, but it does get really interesting because the way that Bitcoin is designed, it's designed to be released over a 150 year period and yet 95% of the supply has already been released within the first 15 or 16 years and the remaining 5% of the supply will take over 100 years to distribute this remaining 5%. So it's a super low inflation rate compared to how much Bitcoin is already in circulation or in the economy. And so because Bitcoin has predictable code and a predictable inflation rate, it allows its supply to remain very small in comparison to how much new demand is coming in, which of course sends the price higher and higher over the years. So that's Bitcoin dilution, put simply.